though we just found another cool place to check out the border we're uh, driving along here route 886 in the north of israel driving southbound here and this route just basically hugs the border uh this is the entrance to somebody's farm uh we're just outside the entrance looks like a private farmland of some sort but you can see again the houses of south lebanon here all along the hill you can actually see right in front just to the left of that gate and in the distance you can see either a water tower or an army watch tower i'm not sure which it is but it's painted in the lebanese flag with the cedar tree in the middle and the two red lines in the top and the bottom um and more that that probably watchtower marks the end of israel itself and the border fence is just about 100 meters here uh inside of this area of farmland so it must be pretty cool slash unusual to have the border just like running literally on your property we're just coming up to like an inlet that's supposed to be a watch point and uh, i've shown these before these you'll see in front uh, of basically every border in israel it says the hebrew is a bit faded in the sun here but it says at sur gvul efanecha uh, stop there's a border ahead of you if sometimes the area in, just in front of the border is declared a uh, closed military zone uh, but usually that sign there's no actually indication that this is a military zone it's very clear from the signage although there is this kind of very imposing concrete wall here but we're going to go in and check out what's at the uh, back of this road and the views we're getting driving southbound along 889 into south lebanon are absolutely spectacular you can see the houses you can see the undulating landscape and the undulating course of the border and uh, you can actually see if I just peek don't want to wander into a minefield so I'm gonna just stop here because I haven't read that sign yet but you can see there in the background of that concrete barrier that is uh, Lebanon and this is route uh, 889 as I said traveling basically along the border with Israel and the army has its own patrol road uh, set against the border which is about 200 meters to the right northbound this is looking towards the border. We're driving southbound on the A tier. And um, there's farmland before the border. And in every, let's say, one kilometer, beautiful farmland. Every one, every one kilometer, we come across a sign saying stop. Uh, they're clearly trying, you know, they're making a big effort to prevent civilians from getting too close to the Lebanese border. There are a couple of points in the road where it gets pretty close. But in general, um, all the roads that actually lead off to the border itself are. Uh, blocked with kind of you know don't go any further signs that make it pretty clear that uh, you're not supposed to go any further and I mean this is a very tense border this is where the not exactly in this part of the border but in uh, around the more around Matula was where the Hezbollah tunnel network was discovered and it's widely understood that Hezbollah are kind of planning a some kind of a big mass infiltration event so the Israeli army has been basically strengthening and fortifying the border here in this area for uh, the, the last year um, or so, pr probably longer, building up the natural barriers in terms of cliffs with artificial fortifications. Um, so it's kind of a game of cat and mouse, both Hezbollah on the other side. On the Lebanese side are preparing to potentially attempt to infiltrate into this part of Israel. And on the other side, the Israeli side, Israel and the IDF are preparing for that eventuality. And you can even see it to the extent that the communities here each one of them is basically secured by its own perimeter fence. Um, I presume that's part of the overall preparation strategy. And uh, you can see here there's another stop sign. That's, that sign there says stop in Hebrew. Um, the stop border ahead of you, so we're literally in front of the border here. Um, so yeah, without being hyster hysterical or dramatic, it's kind of understood that that is going on. So Hezbollah, it's probably safe to say, are watching, preparing on their side of the border. Israel is watching, preparing on its side of the border. And things here are probably deceptively calm.